Today, I want us to design a simple ebook cover and mock it up using our smartphone, right? So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is to set our background size for this work. So I'm going to use some specific dimension for this work. So just watch me as I do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is to tap on image size and from image size, I'll make the width of the design 1105 and the height of the design should be 1600. So take note of this. This is the dimension that I'll be using for this particular ebook tutorial. It's a portrait ebook, not a landscape one. Okay, so I'll tap on OK, and from here I can go ahead and start with the remaining things that I have to do. So for the background color, I'm going to use one gradient color which I've already set up over here. So I'm going to use it for this particular tutorial. So I'll tap on a check mark, and after this, I'll just go ahead and start entering my test. The first test that I'm going to enter is reverse. Okay, so we are assuming that is the title of the book. So the title of the book is reverse. And I'm going to use the font called Akira Expanded. So I'll select the Akira Expanded over here and I'll increase the size of it and see how best I can put it onto my design. And I think this is okay. So I'll leave it over here. Make sure I position it at the middle by using the relative position tool over here. What I have to do after this is to make a duplicate of it by tapping on copy. Once I tap on copy, I'll go ahead and reduce the opacity of this particular test to let's say something like 40. So I'll bring it down here and what I'm going to do is to tap on a check mark. After tapping on the check mark, I'll select the rotate tool and move the rotate angle to 180 degrees so after this i have to come back and use the relative position tool and position it like this what i'm going to do next is to make a duplicate of this particular test i rotated make a duplicate of it and bring it to the down over here and also use the relative position tool to position it at the middle over here now i have to make sure that i push it closer to the main test in the middle so this is what i'm doing currently once i'm done with this i'm just going to enter a shape and use the shape as a line and i'm going to put this particular line beneath the reverse at the down so let me just make it small like this and i'll leave it over here once i'm done with this one i have to go ahead and enter let's say the tagline so the tagline i'm going to say something like um the unpredictable nature of life okay this is just a tutorial it's not any ebook i'm just trying to uh, show you something that you can actually do okay the unpredictable nature of life so we are assuming this is the tagline for the ebook and i'm going to use the font called montserrat medium so i'll just let it over here tap on okay and probably reduce the size of the test a little bit so let's do that quickly I think this is okay for me now right so uh, if if you want to use different size for your test it's not bad what I want to show you is how you can use this particular uh, method to mock up your simple ebook covers right so what I'm going to do now is to bring in my subjects I'm going to actually put someone's image onto this flyer and I've removed the background of the image already using photo room application okay if you don't know how to use the photo room application check out the video showing at the top of the screen right now tap on that link and go watch the video so i'll put the person's image over here and i'm going to lock the image over here after locking it i'll enter a shape make sure i work on a shape the shape i'm going to put it over here like this once i've placed it over here i'm going to select the same gradient that we used okay so I'm going to put the gradient over here like this, the gradient shape over here and tap on a check mark. Once I'm done with that, I'll select the reverse over here, make a duplicate of it and edit it to let's say the name of the person who, write, who wrote the book. So I'm just going to type something like a dot g dot serene. I'm assuming this is the name of the person who, who wrote the book. So yeah, and I'm going to reduce the size of this so that I can fit perfectly at the bottom so let me use 40 for this 
and i think this should be pretty much good for us now so we are done using teaser lab to design you know the ebook cover what we are going to do is to save our work so let me save it right away i'll use ultra as always save to gallery once i'm done saving it to gallery the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and use one website called adazin.com and mock it up quickly so let me do that so with your internet connection working right perfectly come to your browser the browser that you are using i'm using google chrome over here the browser that you're using just come to the browser and type adazin.com so that is a d a z i n g dot com so enter and the home page is going to load up okay so make sure you have a strong internet connection and you are good to go so once it loads this is what you are going to see at the home page now what you have to do at this place is to tap on the menu bar at the top over here just tap on it and from the drop down menu come to this side where they say free stuff for authors right so i'll tap on it over here and from the drop down menu just select the first option over here that's free book mockup generator that's what they've shortened like that so just tap on it over here and it will take you to the platform whereby you just have to select the mockup that you want the template that you want okay so i'm just going to scroll through this template and select the one that i actually want so i think i'll go with this particular one over here so i'll just tap on use this template once i tap on it it should load successfully okay once it loads over here what i'm going to do is to tap on choose file and from here i'll select the picture or the image we edited right now the in Lab. that is the image that i'm going to choose so i'll select files then i'll select the image over here so i'll just have to tap on it once i tap on it it will load okay once it's downloading then we are good to go so this is it over here this is the file that has actually loaded over here now what i have to do is to enter my gmail so i'm going to use one gmail which uh, i just inputted over here like this after this i can just tap on send me my cover it's as simple as that okay just tap on send me my cover and it's going to process once the processing is done you are ready to download your ebook cover okay so that is it let's just wait for this to load and we are good to go so this is the interface that you are going to see so you see some interface like this okay once everything loads fully you see some interface like this okay this one is, is still loading so let's just wait for it to load just don't worry yourself that much you can just tap at the top over here download your free mockup so you can just tap on it relax and you get your mockup and download it okay if you don't have it downloaded over here directly they will send you an email whereby you can download it so as you can see the file is being downloaded right now over here directly so let's just wait for it and see what will be the outcome of the download okay let me check on the progress of the download okay so you can see it over here it is downloading so it's as simple as that okay so i hope you've actually learned something out of this video and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this youtube channel so that each and every time i upload a new video you get to receive notification and you'll be the first person to see the video right so this goes to hear from serene arts and i hope to see you in the next video bless up Thank you.